Beep, beep. Gus, how many times have I told you about riding that thing in the house? Dad. Oh, he's fine. Hey, honey, our daughter is right. We really need to get organized. Uh, you were remembering I'm going to be late tonight, right? Oh, how late? Well, after nine, I've got the uh, dinner with all the partners. Yes, OK. Well, I have a 6 o'clock showing at the Horvath place, so um, Scarlett, do you mind? OK, OK. I'll watch him. Hey, all right, you guys, well, there is chicken and quinoa in the fridge for dinner. What about cold pizza? Cold pizza? Honey, no, you got cold pizza like three nights in a row, OK? You guys have a great day. It's cool. I love you. Good luck with the showing. Thank you. I know, it's going to sell. It just takes the right buyer. I know it will. I hate quinoa. Hey, it uh, could be worse. It could be steamed broccoli. Uh, you know that cat from the missing poster? Uh, what was his name? Tiger. Yeah, uh, I think I found him. You found Tiger? Mm-hmm. Oh my god, that's disgusting. I want to see him. No, you don't. Trust me, bud. OK, I can drop him off on my way to work. Are you sure? Yeah, it's just on the way. I think so. OK. All right, you guys, off to school. I love you. Have a good, good day. Good day, guys. Bye. How did he die? You don't want to know. Bye, Mom. Bye, Mom. Oh. Sorry. Oh. Welcome to Purgatory. Excuse me? Saw the moving trucks for neighbors. Cool. Yeah. I'm Seth. Scarlet. Yeah, I know. We have class together. It's okay if you don't remember me, most people don't. Well, it's it's nice to meet you, but I've got to get going. He's weird. Shh. Can I help you? I am so sorry. Pigs. Pigs are mammals with the same similar structure found in humans. Stomachs, spleen, small intestine, kidneys, bladder. Now what we're going to do, this little gal here, is we're going to see those similarities close up. So first of all, I'm going to make a little mark. For our little autopsy, we'll call it. You see, it's quite easy to get right through that flesh. Now, we'll just pry it back with using the spreader here. Let's see what she's got in store for us. I was wondering why you don't want to be friends. Thought maybe I smelled bad or something. But... Sorry, I just 
Uh, I don't add people I don't know, and we just met. Yeah, okay, I got it. Can't be too careful these days, right? Okay, so when do you want to do this then? Um, do what? Get to know me. I could come over to your house, you could come over to mine. Or... Look, can, can we talk about this later? I've just got another class, so. Yeah, well, sure. Well, um, brain check on that one then, huh? Cartoons only. Thanks, Mom. You're welcome. Scarlett. Honey, if there's something wrong, we can talk about it. Honey, what's wrong? What is this? This creep across the street took pictures of me undressing. What? His name is Seth Duran, he's one of my classes. He sent me a friend request, and I turned him down, but he wouldn't take no for an answer, and now he sends me this. Mom, he's really creepy. Honey, this is not okay. This is cyberbullying, and I'm gonna go over there right now and talk to his parents. But wait, are you gonna tell Dad? Well, of course. Mom, don't. He'll just freak out and tell everyone. <laughs> Honey, no, he won't. Mom, please. Okay, but if it happens again, I have to tell him. Okay, I'll be right back. the street, right? Right. Hi. Um, oh, gosh, I'm sorry. I, I probably should have come over earlier and introduced myself, but um, I'm Nora Bettner. Iris. You sure have a beautiful family. That little boy of yours, I could just eat him right up. <laughs> Thank you. His name's Gus. Gus. Yeah. My daughter Scarlett goes to school with your son Seth, and... Hmm. There's no easy way to say this, so I guess I'll just say it, but um, he's been harassing her. Just what did Mr. Popular do this time? He's been sending her inappropriate messages online. Online? Yes, it's called cyberbullying. Ah, well, that sure sounds serious. Glad you brought this to my attention. Look, the last thing we want is any kind of trouble. But if this happens again, I will have to go to the police, so you need to have a talk with your son. Oh, he'll hear from me. Don't you worry about that. Good, I appreciate it. Mm. Sorry to disturb your evening. Busybody bitch. What did you say? <sighs> I finally met the people across the street. Well, one of them anyway. Oh, yeah? Yeah. She was a real piece of work. What, worse than the cat lady who thinks we killed Tiger? <laughs> <laughs> no. This lady is so rude to me. Let's just try to win over the neighbors, honey. <laughs> I don't think that's going to happen with this lady. Yeah. I mean, her son sounds like a bigger problem. You know what? Everything's gonna be all right. Let's get some 
sleep. Well, I'm kind of stuck right now. Mom's working and Dad's out golfing with his boss. Yeah, it's just me and Gus. You're so lucky. This place sucks. Everybody at school is a jerk or a total space cadet. I know. <laughs> I know. I miss you guys so much. I wish I could just move back. Be Hang on a sec. Oh, gross. A bird just committed suicide on our window. I better get rid of it before Gus finds out. But text me, okay? Later. Uh, Gus, I'm going out for a minute. after this is definitely the place for you gosh excuse me it's my daughter hey honey mom it's Gus he's not in the house he's not in the yard he's, he's gone what do you mean he's gone I've looked everywhere and I can't find him I, I don't know what to do No, this bird couldn't have flown. Its wings have been pinioned. It's crude work, but effective. The girl said it hit the window. And it had help. All right, I want that turned around as fast as you can. Baby, I need you to think a little bit harder. Are you positive that you didn't hear or see anything else? No, I already told you. I was out for a second. I came back and he was gone. Now you said there was a dead cat too? Yeah, we found it in the driveway yesterday morning. Look, my daughter's been having trouble with a boy at school. He lives across the street. His name is Seth Duran. It wasn't just trouble, Mom. He's basically been stalking me. And when we ran into him in the front, he just kept staring at Gus. There's something off with him. Wait a second. You think he took your son? Hey. You and I went up to Lakeview, we checked the creek and the gas station. Nothing. Seth. It's Seth Duran. It's him. If you don't go over there right now, I will. Okay. Val, put your game face on. 
We're gonna have a chat with the neighbors. The Durand house, huh? Yep, that's why you're doing all the talking. Oh, who, who's, uh, who's set the rent? Don't say anything, baby. This is harassment and he knows it. Where's my son? I, I thought I told you to stay put. Now, Mr. Duran has agreed to answer some questions, okay? If we find out anything, you'll be the first to know, I promise. But right now, you need to go back inside and wait by the phone. He's right. Honey, this is not the way. Not the way? How can you say that? Our son is missing! Honey, everyone's doing what they can. We're gonna find him. Honey, I promise you. I thought I told you to get off my property. Hey. Hey! Oh, this is Bentner. This is Bentner. you! Officers, these people are trespassing. I'd appreciate it if you'd ask them to leave. Honey, this is just gonna make things worse. Chris. He's um he's out with the search party right now. Sweet. I have to ask. I mean, do you think he was taken? There's a boy that lives across the street. The police are talking to him now. You built quite a rep for yourself since we last met. Petty theft, vandalism, possession with intent. It's like deja vu all over again. So is that what this is? Trying to live up to Brian's shining example. Oh, no. Tell me, Detective, how is the room service over at the motor lodge? You know, I just don't understand why you're so hell-bent in following in that loser's footsteps. Loser. Okay, how much longer you make me sit here and listen to this? I told you I didn't do anything, so. That's not what Scarlett Bentner said. <laughs> oh, man. She's the reason why I'm here? Seriously, that's it? You've been harassing her? <laughs> yeah. Maybe in her dream. She's not really my type. Kind of a... Yeah, kind of a bitch, actually. Do you like animals, Seth? Interesting. I thought this was about a missing kid. Dad? Not another word, Seth. I missed the Duran's legal counsel, okay? My client hasn't done anything. Grab your things. We were just having a friendly chat. His brother and I were old friends. What is this? Ridiculous vendetta? You people, you need to get your house in order. And you? Wipe that smirk off your face. Yes, ma'am. Let him go? What do you mean you had to let him go? Did you question him? Yes, I understand what probable cause means. Does your captain understand that a child's life is at stake?
boys gone missing, but I don't Gus! know what you think I can do about Gus! it. What do you think Gus! you're gonna find here? Hi. You got some nerve coming in here, some balls with the police are right outside. Ma'am, are you all right in there? In my house. Get out of my house! Yes. Come on, get yes. out! Not are you down, down here? here. Yes. Get yes. Get yes. Get me out! You crazy bitch. You're gonna need to step back. There you are. This woman broke into my house and assaulted me. I, I was just looking for my son. I overreacted, I'm sorry. We're gonna handle this, Mrs. Duran. Mrs. Bettner, you need to come with us. Yeah. Mom, what happened? Okay. You better be taking her to jail. I want her arrested, you hear me? You can press charges if you like, but right now I need you to go back inside and stay there. Do what? Assault the Duran woman. How'd you know about that? The officer up front told me. So you didn't find him? You heard what Coyle said. We don't know that this is foul play. There's no sign of forced entry. The animal thing, it might be a coincidence. A coincidence? God, do you still think that Gus just wandered off? I don't know what to think, but it's not gonna help if you wind up in jail. So we gotta be smart about this, Nora. You gotta play by the rules. The rules? Chris, this isn't one of your cases. Our son is out there. I know that! I was the one that was out there all day searching for him. I'm sorry, I didn't mean it like that. Let's just find him. Scarlet, I have something for you. It's a hope can. It's for Gus. So wherever he is, and no matter how much afraid he may be, this will be a little speck of light in the dark, and it'll help guide him home. Thanks, Gran. Go put it by the window. seen anything about our son Gus to please come forward we just miss him so much and and he doesn't deserve this um, honey are you sure about this definitely in between classes I can put up posters and Hand out pamphlets. The more people that know Gus is missing, the better. I know, honey, but you've already been doing so much. Your dad and I are worried about you. I'm the last thing that you need to worry about. Really. 
Okay. I'll be here to pick you up after school. Okay. Passing it around? Yeah, for sure. No problem. Thanks. There are over 100,000 different species of arachnid. The only thing they got in common is eight legs and an attitude. Now, this one is my personal favorite, the wolf spider. He just doesn't wait for prey to come to it. He's proactive. They'll sometimes even hunt for prey in their own burrows. Take a look at that face. You see one? I don't understand how a message like this can be anonymous. I mean, doesn't the carrier have some way of tracing it? They did. A free terminal at the public library. Whoever sent this used an SMS spoofing program. Well, check the surveillance tapes. Find out who was on the computer. Can't. There's no camera. And the staff said they hadn't seen anyone matching Seth's description all day. Even if we place him at the scene, it'd be circumstantial at best. Circumstantial at best. Just so like all the other evidence you think you have against him. So you're saying you're not bringing him in? For what? For what? Kidnapping, cyber-stalking, loitering. We can't hold him longer than 48 hours before we have to charge him with something. Right. This isn't Guantanamo. We can't force confessions out of people. This is insane. Our son is out there dying, and you're telling us there's nothing we can do? We are doing something, Mr. No, you're not. The entire department is out there looking for your son. It's not enough! Nora, Nora. I've seen you talk about this kid. You know him? He has a record, doesn't he? He's been in and out of juvie several times, yes. Do you think he could do something like this? What I think doesn't matter. It matters to me. It matters to me that the people out there, they're looking for my son, have the good sense to see what's right in front of their faces. Do you think he could do something like this? Yes or no? If I were you, I'd be more concerned with Iris Duran, because if she gets her way, you and your daughter might be sharing a cell. Oh, Thanks, Detective. Let's go. We're leaving. Okay. I'm going to ask you something, and I need you to think about it really hard before you answer. Okay? Okay. Are you sure, absolutely sure, that Seth Duran took Gus? Why? Just answer the question. Yes. I'm positive. But what difference does it make if they don't believe me? I believe you.
Mom, what are we doing? Just gonna see where he goes. No, I mean, what are we doing? Took guys. Maybe he'll lead us to him. And what if he doesn't? We'll play it by ear. Stay here. What? I want to come with you. No. Do you have your phone? Yeah. Okay. If I'm not back in 15, call 911. Hey, honey, where are you? We're looking for Gus. I, I've been calling your mom, but she's not answering her phone. Uh, she's she's putting up posters. Can I get her to call you back? No, 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 it doesn't matter. We're uh, gonna search the creek again. We're going farther downstream this time. Uh, the water moves fast this time of year. Oh, okay. Yeah, I love you. I love you. People don't give up, do you? Look, get this into your head, okay? I didn't take your kid. I'm not here because of Gus. Really? Then why are you following me? My daughter wants to apologize for what she did to your eye. It's gonna stop us from suing you? You're out of your mind. I saw your little transaction. What was it, marijuana or something harder? <laughs> yeah, maybe you should spend more time looking for your rug rat than playing narc. Scarlet, where's Gus? Scarlet, get in the where's car. Where's Gus? Stop. Sounds like she doesn't want to apologize to me. Apologize? Stop, stop. I would never apologize to you. Just stop. What did you do to him? Stop. What did you do? Again? What did you do? How often? Scarlet! Get her the hell off. <laughs> still a minor. I can't get in trouble, right? Right?
run, run. Come on. Who lives here? Until recently, a guy named Horvath. And he's gonna help us? He doesn't have a choice. He's dead. All right, honey, pop the trunk. Still unconscious. All right, let's get him out before he wakes up. like half the teenagers in this country, so what? What do you want? What do you want? Do you want money? I can give you money. Just tell me where my son is, please. Look, I'm sorry. I know, okay, I know this must be tough on you guys, but you gotta believe me, I'm not the person you wanna be talking to. Who should we be talking to? I don't know, maybe that cop, how about Which that? Which cop? Coyle, Detective Clark, he's always hated my family. Yo I'm going to ask you nicely one more time. Where is Gus? And then what are you going to do, huh? You're going to torture me? Is that it? Don't you know that stuff doesn't work? Let's give it a try. Stop, 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 please, please. Look, okay, okay, look, the cyber stalking, that was out of line. All right, I know it was, I know. But I am not some creepy pedo. You have to believe me, please. I didn't I do this. I want my boy! I want my boy! I 
I'm sorry. I'm sorry you had to see that. How long? As long as it takes. Are you still with me? What if someone comes out here? They here. won't. Besides, I'm the only one with the keys. We have to tell Dad. No, we... No. No, he can't find out. The less he knows, the better. You mean in case we're wrong? We're not wrong! It's Coyle. Go. Go. Detective, hi. I'm Spentner. I, I thought that SUV looked familiar. Y yeah. Oh, yeah. I, w I was just driving by the house and realized I hadn't watered the plants in a couple weeks, so... Yeah. I was just canvassing the neighborhood today. Oh, that's good. <sighs> I, I just wanted to tell you that I'll be briefing the state police tonight on the case. Oh, that's great. We're sparing no effort to find your boy. I appreciate it. Thank you. Okay. Well, I'll, um, I'll let you get back to it. Is everything okay, Mrs. Bettner? Oh. Yeah, I I'm all right. Thanks for stopping by. I'll be in touch. Thank you. Thank you, Hugh. How far are you willing to go? Sorry? Gus, what are you willing to do to find him? He's my son. So you do whatever it takes? Of course. Good.
lazy bones. Gotta go to school. Seth! Seth Duran! You listening to me? Taylor. Here. Emily. Yeah. Scarlet. Here. Seth. Seth Durand. Mitch. Holly. All you have to do to get out of here is just tell me where Gus is. I don't see Scarlet anywhere. She chicken out already. She's at school where you should be. I really hate that you're forcing me to do this. Look, lady, I can't tell you anything because I don't know anything. Did you kill the animals? No. Then who did? Are you protecting someone? God, come on, you know someone's gonna come looking for me. You can't keep me chained in here forever. He is seven years old. His birthday's coming up next week. If he doesn't make it to eight, I swear to God, you're a dead man. are you? Call me when you get this. long enough. What can I do for you? You can let us in. What's this? Authorization to search the premises. Go nuts. something. Get Mrs. Durand in here. Tell her the good news. Yes, sir. Ma'am, can you come in here, please? 
Uh, now, please, ma'am. I'm coming. What the hell is this? I think you know exactly what this is about. Stalking little boys, Iris. You son of a bitch. You planted them. Place her under arrest. You have the right to remain silent. You just slit your own throat. Anything you say or do can and will be used against you. Take her away. In a court of law, you have the right to an oh, attorney. Oh. Go ahead. Don't turn that crap on again, please. Talk. Okay. Can you maybe just loosen these? First, I can't feel my arms. Can you still feel your fingers? Go ah! right, 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 right. I said talk. All right. Come talking, okay? Hearing anything. Just give me a second. I know who took your kid. So do I. I know who took your kid, and it's not me. Who was it? I'll tell you, but I need something to eat first. Do you really think I'm that gullible? I think if you want to see Gus again, you better start making me happy. Iris Durand has been arrested. For what? No one knows. Yeah, Hugh's sister on the vice squad said it's all over the station, and apparently Seth is missing. He's missing? That's the rumor. I tried Detective Coyle, but he's not answering his phone. Uh, listen, uh, I gotta go. Can you just let me know if you hear anything? What were you doing out of school? It was a half day. How did you get here? The bus, why? No one followed me. Don't do it again. Okay. Someone else? Who? I don't know, honey. He's probably lying. We don't have much of a choice. We do something for him, maybe he'll do something for us. Cereal? That's it, seriously? Oh. Figures can't be choosers. Do you want some or not? Yeah. than the disco. Fine. Hey, I, was, I was kidding, all right? Please, Miss Oski. You'll get the rest when you start talking. Okay. Look, why don't I walk this through for you real quick? I know you're not gonna kill me. You know why I know that? Because if you do, your daughter goes to jail as an accessory. So why don't you just admit you're not the one in charge here? Hmm. You think you're pretty smart, don't you? I know I am. And if you were smart, you would let me out here right now, before it's too late. Yeah, I didn't think you'd go for that one either. I'll 
get you some real food, but you have to give me something in return. To the best of my knowledge, she's still alive. That good enough for you? that for? Just making sure you remember who's really in charge. Steak! Porterhouse, nice and juicy, nothing cheap. Oh, uh, some baked potatoes, too, I love. I love baked potatoes. What did he say? <gasps> Much. What, what, do you, what just happened? What's going on? I have some shopping to do. Just stay here. Don't talk to him and don't go inside. Anything happens, anything at all, call me. Something I don't? What? Well, we got groceries yesterday. Yeah, I forgot a few things. Yeah, I was on my way to the station. I saw your car and I thought, here, let me give you No, 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 it's, it's okay, I got wanna, it. Let me give you No, no, I'm fine. I'm fine. What's going on, Nora? Nothing's going on. We have to stick together, all right? Don't shut me up. If we can't trust each other, who do we trust? Get in. Remember when I asked you what you were willing to do to find Gus? Sure. I have something I need to show you. Scarlett! I know you're out there. I heard you two talking earlier. What do you want? What do you think? I'm not coming in there unless you tell me where my brother is. I already told your mom everything I know. She didn't tell you what I said? Tell me again, where is he? Look, I don't know where your brother is. Okay, but I have a pretty good idea who took him. Who? You know, my voice is gonna give out if we have to keep doing this. Well, that's too bad because I'm staying right where I am. Well, is that what your mom said? Stay out of here and don't talk to me? I don't know, Scarlett. To me, it sounds like your mom doesn't trust you very much, does it? Scarlett, please. Please, please. I just want a little bit of water, that's it. Please. Scarlett, please. What's going on? Where are we going? Horvath Place. Why? Because it's empty and private. What? It was that pig coil. He's had it in for my family forever. This crap again. You know, you need to start coming up with some better stories. It's not crap. Okay, you don't think a cop is capable of that thing again? Killed my brother. How? It's an illegal chokehold. Barely even got a slap on the wrist for it. They just transferred him to division, so my mom sued. He lost everything. His wife, his kid, his house, he's been living in a motel ever since. 
What does this have to do with Gus? Come on, see what's happening here, Scott.